Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel your go-to source for everything boxing. Today we have something really exciting to share with you. We're dissecting the sparring session that the whole boxing community is talking about. Yes. The GOAT himself, Floyd the Legend Iron vs Money Mayweather Mike Tyson before we get into the highlights. Let's talk about how we got here. These two guys, who are both icons in their own right, stepped into the ring together, and trust me, it was nothing short of insane. Are you ready to get into the action? Floyd Mighty despite coming from separate eras, the clash of techniques made this sparring match iconic. Mike Tyson, the raw power and ferocity that characterized an entire generation of boxers, and the undefeated tactical brilliance now let's get started. When the first round begins, both guys are gauging each other out. Tyson is doing what he does best, and Floyd is being Floyd, which is all about the defense hopping on his toes and using that deft head movement to avoid his jabs. It's obvious that neither of them is. Expected, but we're not friends anymore. Until November 15th, I'm knocking this motherfucker out, and we're gonna see who's dead. We will see who's dead. Mike, when you hear Jake Paul say, though, we're gonna see who's dead, what does that do to you? Do, does that make you put yourself in the mindset of understanding that this young killer wants to take you out? Is he really a young killer? Yeah, you had to go on your little menopause break and postpone the fight, so yeah. Your tummy hurts still? I feel, I feel a lot better now. I covered all your fights in Atlantic City. Are we going to see the Atlantic City that you showed back in the 90s on November, November 15th. 15th? Hey, listen. But as soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be totally over. Pulling punches, even if they are simply sparring, they are both keeping low, swaying, and setting up those vicious body strikes. You can tell Tyson has evil intentions behind those shots because he's throwing some serious heat. Floyd is dodging and ducking with composure. They're both probing the waters, but you can sense that intensity as Tyson lands some sharp counters here and there, and you can tell he's already plotting something major. Growing stronger by the second, Floyd is now stepping it up in round two. He's going full money Mayweather mode, which is making Tyson, it's the signature Floyd fast jabs, accurate counters, and footwork that make it nearly impossible to catch. Well, I commend Tyson, because he, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Um, him. Missed by inches every time Tyson attempted a big shot, Floyd would counter with a clean shot, and you could see him getting a little frustrated. However, Tyson is relentless in his pursuit of Floyd, closing the distance with each step, cornering him, and making him feel as though he was about to lose. Floyd is fighting cleverly, though, making sure he isn't swallowing one of those by landing bullets and then stepping out of range haymakers. Tyson things become insane in round three because it's a master class in defense versus offense, but you can sense when Tyson's strength might finally. He fight a great fighter. You know, he, he's a little too into himself. You know, he should be. I was the same way too, but you have to come to reality some way. You have to, you have to bring your head down to God. We, you know, we're nothing to be fucking ignorant. Well, you expect us to be ignorant and arrogant. Look where we came from. That's why I asked the question earlier about you mentoring fighters, because I, like, I feel like Floyd looked at you growing up like every other fighter. And the persona and the lifestyle was like growing up in the hood. We looked at it like that's Mike Tyson. We see the cars, the jewelry, the the the, the flair. Like you was a you was a movie star. You was a, you was a by now Tyson has had enough of the mind games. He stops experimenting and is throwing harder shots. And you can sense the intensity on his face. The elimination Floyd tries to maintain his space by dancing around. But this is when Tyson's experience comes into play. Floyd is on the defensive for the first time, trying to keep Tyson off him when Tyson delivers a tremendous right hook to his body. You can hear the sound of the blow, which causes the mood to change. Tyson is a dangerous heavyweight in his prime because of the way he closes distance with such intensity and accuracy. His punches are forceful, quick, and precise. The crowd in the gym loses it when Floyd stumbles and appears to be going down, but it's not every day that you see Floyd Mayweather in trouble like this. Tyson has him on the ropes, and you can feel the energy shift. Everyone is wondering. Hey, 
Floyd can recover or if this is the end of his winning streak. But here's the thing Tyson sets up the perfect shot. He fakes a jab, steps in with that peekaboo style, and boom, he cracks Floyd with a hook to the jaw. The rest of the round is about Floyd Mayweather staying away and making sure he doesn't get caught again, while Tyson is looking for that final blow. As the sparring session comes to an end, the tension is still high, because neither fighter wants to back down and they both know they've made a statement. But then it happened. Floyd Mayweather is a master at withstanding pressure. He takes a deep breath, regroups, and goes straight back to his defense. With his trademark explosive power, Tyson hit Mayweather's jaw with a right hook, knocking him to the canvas. It's obvious that Tyson is still a formidable opponent, and if he fights Jake Paul with the same passion, it might be disastrous for the YouTuber. I mean, if Floyd. <laughs> couldn't hang out with Tyson, you have no idea what will happen to Jake Paul. Mike Tyson, I cherish Mike. I admire them, but as of November 15th, we are no longer friends. I'm going to knock this out, and then we'll find out who's dead. Mike, you had to take a little menopause break and postpone the fight, so yes, your stomach hurt. However, now that I've covered all of your fights in Atlantic City, I feel much better. Are we going to see the Atlantic City the, that you showed back in the 90s on November 15th? When Jake Paul says, Though we're going to see who's dead, what does that do to you? Does that make you put yourself in the mindset that this young killer wants to take you out? Has made it clear how he feels about Floyd's attitude to the game. While Floyd has an impeccable record, Mike has always believed that Floyd's fights are more about defense money than they are about the warrior spirit. Being the youngest heavyweight champion in history, Mike is all about his killer instinct. At the age of 58, he still has the ability to knock out opponents. Floyd is a tremendous boxer. But Tyson once claimed that he's not necessarily excellent at boxing, and that's a valid point. Floyd's influence is a big reason why today's fighters are more focused on money than the sport itself we're missing out on the fights we really want to see. Because everyone's now chasing the payday, and you can thank Floyd for school by himself, he's a little scared man, he's a very small scared man. When they announced Floyd was coming in to level up Tyson for the Paul fight, people were seriously. Skeptical, but this is a legendary team up two of the goats linking up you never know what could go down the about well I commend Tyson Kuz. He, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know he's a legendary champion, and only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is. Everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson he lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. Noon can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Um, boxing will live on although Mike Tyson hasn't always seen eye to eye with Floyd's approach to boxing Mayweather actually. Grew up idolizing Tyson, so when the opportunity to train alongside his childhood hero came up, Floyd didn't hesitate to jump on. How do you feel about Floyd, though? How do you feel about Boto? How do you feel about Boto? Through after all, he was the one who once changed referees in the middle of a bout because the calls didn't go in his favor. Floyd Mayweather and Mike Tyson in battle. It's not just a crazy dream. Showdown it is conceivable after defeating John Gotti with ease. Floyd returned to training immediately after, this time with rising star Shakur Stevenson. You can be certain such sessions will be fantastic. That concludes today's video. Floyd is back in the gym, and you can guarantee there's a reason. If that reason is about with Mike Tyson, we could be witnessing the fight of the century. Please remember to subscribe, like, and ring the bell symbol if you liked it. This will ensure that you never miss any of our future videos. Additionally, don't forget to leave your comments below. Keep watching, and we'll see you in the subsequent video.